This is going to be the first in a series of English videos to help people who want to improve their English. If you'd like to have private classes with me, just check in the more information below the video to see my um, link to my italki page. And there you can see my schedule and my pricing. So this is to be the first in a series of uh, videos to help people with their comprehension and listening abilities in English. Um, what I'm going to do is tell a short story. In this one, since it's the first one, I'm going to try to make it very short. Uh, maybe just two minutes or three minutes long, but eventually they might be longer. And I'm going to tell a short story, but at first I'm going to tell the story the way I would speak to another native speaker. I'm going to just speak as naturally and as quickly as I normally would. But then I'm going to tell the story again with much more slow speech so that um, it could possibly help you to understand it better. Um, the good and maybe bad thing is I am not going to use a script because I think it would be kind of boring if I read a story, especially something that I've experienced and I know it. But the bad thing could be that the wording will be different because if you tell the same story twice, uh, a lot of times it changes. So I hope you get something out of this. Since this is the first one, it's kind of like an experiment. And hopefully as time goes on, they'll get better and better and the technique will get better too. So here we go. Um, this will probably be entitled something like um, Trip to Thailand. Okay, here we go. Last year, my wife and I decided to go to Thailand. We had never been there before. We were looking at different places in Thailand and we were afraid to stay at just one hotel because then we might miss other parts of the area that we wanted to go to, which was Phuket. So we decided to stay at two different hotels and we were really happy that we did that because the, um, we got to see two different areas uh, and the one hotel was really amazing, really beautiful. It was on its own separate island away from Phuket, about a half an hour boat ride away. And the other one was on the island of Phuket. And so they had different feels because on Phuket, there's like a nightlife and um, there's a lot of action going on and the beaches are a little different. But on the other private island, uh, it was, more quiet, peaceful, but still a beautiful resort and an amazing place. Um, and so if we ever went back there, we'd probably want to go back to that place because it was really enjoyable. Okay, now I'll tell that story again more slowly. So about uh, a year ago or last year, my wife and I decided to go to Thailand. We had never been to Thailand before. And we were looking at many hotels to stay at and many places. And we were afraid to choose just one and stay at that one hotel for the whole time because we thought we might miss something in another part of the island we were planning on staying in Phuket and the Phuket area and that is where we went. So we decided to go to two different hotels. One was on Phuket where there's a lot of nightlife and action and people and noise and the other one was on a private island about a 30-minute boat ride away from Phuket. So we were really happy that we decided to stay at the two different hotels because the one on the private island was really beautiful and top-notch, an excellent five-star resort, and we had a great time there. 
the one on Phuket, which is also an island, but it's kind of connected to the mainland, was a nice hotel too. And it was a different feel being there at Phuket on that island. So those are the two stories. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to have much commentary on the future videos. I might just put the two stories out and give a little more detail and maybe a little bit longer to challenge you more. So if you have any requests or any feedback or any ideas for a, a type of English video that you haven't seen yet that you would like me to do, if I'm able to, I would be happy to try to put something together. I know there are a lot of videos out there um, discussing phonetics and pronunciation and grammar rules and I will probably be doing some of those uh, so you can look forward to that but please write to me in the comments if you have any requests on a specific thing that you haven't seen a video for or maybe you've seen a video but it wasn't satisfactory it didn't really answer your questions and um, you would like it to be done again I'd be happy to do that because each instructor each teacher has their own way of looking at things and describing them so um, I look forward to your feedback I hope you enjoyed this video take care